Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today in this video I'm going to review the latest ROG edition in new at all and return port ported from Redmi Note 7 to Redmi Note 5 Pro by ABX Shakya. Before we begin this video, if you found this helpful, help me by subscribing to this channel and also join our Telegram group as well. So why to wait? Let's begin. As you can see, we are on about phone section. As you can see, the MIUI version is MIUI 12 ABX ROG Edition 20.7.2 Beta Build. And let me show you the all specs as well. As you can see, device model is Redmi Note 5, aka Redmi Note 5 Pro, aka Wire Red as well. And we are running on Android 10. And the security patch level is still June. The MIUI version is 20.7.2 the kernel version is actually i have installed agni for testing the inbuilt kernel is extended and this is based on new cam blocks so guys let's see what's new here as you can see a new location wallpaper how to get this first download the apk install Check the description box for the APK. This APK has fixed lags while using Super Wallpapers. Let me show you what has updated. Now by going into settings, wallpapers and by clicking on the red planet, this has been updated and by click on select new location. There you go. There are two new live I mean, Super Wallpapers. Yeah, they were flawless. They are smooth as well. As I told you, this APK has fixed lags. Yeah. As you can see, I love this one as this makes the UI more smoother while using super wallpapers. And the next, what's new here is the UI became much much smoother than before. Yeah. Thumbs up for Mirom team. So let's talk about what's working. A fully stable MIUI 11 cam. Yeah. Yeah, photo mode works like charm. Portrait mode is working without any issues. Yeah, square mode, etc. Paranoma, manual. Manual, you won't get any more features, but okay. And let's see video mode video mode you get 4k but you won't see here as i modded the xml for aod i forgot to add some small lines so don't worry you get slow motion time lapse short video as well so guys let's see the front camera yeah front camera i'm currently on the mi 11 camera yeah friend is perfect and video is also perfect you can record at FHD 1080p 30fps and show video same FHD plus 1080p 30fps and the front portrait I mean bokeh mode is works flawless yeah the square is also works and Roma know about that Okay, that's it for the MIUI 11 camera. So guys, if you want MIUI 11 plus MIUI 12 camera, you need to download a small APK, which is, you can see here, like camera on the desktop. You need to download it from our link in the description box. Please check out that. So after installing, yeah, let me tell you, install it as normal. 
and after installing come back as the near dual camera you get everything like AI HDR and yeah filters beauty and etc and video is box without any issues you get 4k on this hero yeah only for back portrait is dead print and back oh, everything is box and friend this box yeah video is also box at 1080p 30fps so that's it now guys that's it for the new actual camera please check out the description box for this camera apk let's talk about the magic safety net issues yeah i'll show you in front of you i not flashed any patches like i mean cts profile fix etc i don't flash anything yeah i'm using the latest canary i think this is one of the best for me now let me show you the safety net issue there's no issue with safety net as you can see you get success that's nice actually and on another thing i don't face any pubg mobile crashing because of this magic yeah i don't face that one so there's no issues with that yeah magic side is box without any issues let me dial that for you yeah that's connected that's nice quality box Yeah, I have using this ROM from yesterday and I have faced some issues which are the normal in the Mu H12 ports and the Mu H12 beta they didn't fix till now. Yeah, the first the first issue here is the navigation bar. Yeah, this is the issue on every Mu H12 ROM. You, if you are a user of dark mode, if you use dark mode, if you the navigation bar is hidden. What to do? Yeah, here is the fix. Just turn off and turn on the dark mode to fix that. Yeah, this helps me. If for the first time it now works, yeah, just double tapping on that one for several times until you turn on that one. You face saturation issues while you are outside when the direct sunlight is hitting the screen. Yeah, that's normal due to the sensor i think maybe yeah these are the two issues i have been faced in now on these are exist on every mu h12 rom ports this issue is only for indian users yeah this is a chinese theme store so there is no connectivity for this if you want a global one let me know in the comment section i'll try to bring that or check out my telegram group for that and for other users that this is very working very well no issues regarding that this is only for indian users so no issues for other country users tips from my side disable super wallpapers for more smoother ui and much better battery backup use rhodium theme for much much smoother so guys let's explore all the features so let's open the lock screen yes you get everything but there is no ability if you i have an ability by myself if you want let me know in the comment section i will make a detailed video and you get everything yeah every stock features yeah there is still wide charging animation that's nice yeah i love the wave one especially in the display you get everything like normal which you get in miro uh, i saw a new feature here is disable global dark mode yeah i seen this in here and in the control center on official share you get everything which you find in miro especially you have status bar icon use old icon dual network icon hide alarm icon hide bluetooth icon as well you have screen saver as well which is no opinion 
and sound of my patients you can get with me is normal and I will sound effects and so on. This only works on white earphones and headphones but no it's not work on wireless that's not okay. Notification settings you get everything the notifications you can change for everything you get everything like loading notifications enable the more easily choose that as well loading notification option bandages notifications shared MIUI or android you get two options in the home screen you get uh, additional settings like select left slide menu i have used the google feed as of now yeah you can use upward as well show search bar right app title app type app title in two lines show and in shadows in general settings you get all these top features just don't choose in the wallpapers you get super wallpapers as i already shown you themes yeah everything is normal you get four normal themes i mean stock ones in the password and security you get everything like password, fingerprint unlock, face unlock, as well dev works pretty smooth and pretty 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 fast. Good privacy protection and enable permission notifications as well. Now battery and performance I used. I'm using the Agni Kerner. So that's the status. Starts, there is no any box here as well. You get battery saver, ultra battery saver, and etc. Now, by clicking on yes, here, once you want to add trip, yes, that's it. That's nice actually. The apps, you get everything. And I recommend you one thing you have to choose the default ones because, yeah, default ones are okay. you get app block and Face unlock support as well. I won't use this one, so set up. In additional features, you get all features like language and include. You can choose anything from here. You get data and time. You can select any server, etc. Good full screen display. Yeah, buttons and shortcuts. You get everything like music management, launch camera, take a screenshot, watch the screenshot, launch Google Apps things. Turn on screen, turn on touch, close the app, etc. You get notification live, which is working fine. There's no issues with that. Big ball, very nice. And one handed mode you need to use uh, whether you have big ball or no notifications. Here you get, here you get clear speaker as well. That's nice. You get access to this. Anything here? Yeah, screen time you get screen time, which is the Chinese version of digital well being. In, spe in special features, you get in turbo mode. There's you get video toolbox as well, floating windows, and space, I mode as well. So let's talk about smoothness. Yeah, this song is wonderful. Thumbs up for the photo and we long team. Yeah, let me speak frankly. This version is much much better than the previous version. Yeah, I hated me long before this update. This update is so great and I liked it. So let me sh show you the animations. Yeah, everything is much much smoother now yeah i told you i'm using screen recorder so you will have some laggies sluggish so there's no issues with you and there's nothing like that yeah please don't hit me i don't have any other phone only this one and i'm testing using this as for testing etc thug life now the wallpaper sometimes have a little glitch, so that's no worry. And I recommend to use iVoice theme if you want. Please join our Telegram group. 
that's about the smoothness yeah let's now talk about battery backup and it has a stock on LX extended you will get about 7 to 8 hours of battery backup as users have been reported if you don't play games yeah max is about 8 to 9 as well if you want much more battery backup try darkness kernel in the description box for that yeah finally this rom is one of the best for gaming as well so the overall performance on the stock kernel is literally perfect there's no issues on the stock kernel like anything other anything else yeah now let's talk about gaming performance boom I use Agony, never placed any lag on this ROM, thanks to that level. If you have high priority for gaming, I recommend to use Agony 7.7 as the game, that have the overkill profile that's, that's nice actually, that's the overkill version. Check the description box for that, uh, G-Mobile, you get HD graphics with high frame support. Gaming is great in the storm, I recommend this storm as well. Gaming, I have played a few QDMs and few domination matches. Yeah, that doesn't face any lag on the Agony 7.7 and I recommend that for gaming as that now. I want to provide you this right. So, the time has came. This is the conclusion time. Me UI ROG Edition Android Tool Port based on Mirom. This is one of the best ROM for gaming, best ROM for battery, 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 battery. Backup. To try Me UI. I recommend this ROM at first glance. Yeah, this is ROM. So, the testers as well as me yeah that's my stand for the from the thanks to him that's it for this video if you found this helpful please subscribe like share and if you do see you in the next video as of now i'm signing off